Whoever has custody of the kids at the moment the divorce is filed has custody of the kids until you go before a judge. Okay, so we are back with Cora Obidi and Justin Dean's divorce story. Trending Gist lovers, welcome back to my channel. I remain your girl, Octavia Cora. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on your notification bell. Show some love. Just don't watch the video and move on. All right, so Cora Obidi and her husband, Justin Dean, they've been trending for some time now. I know you saw the short clip at the beginning. You have even more to watch. Justin Dean sat down and filmed the video saying a whole lot that i will let you watch soon okay you be the judge whatever you want to come to your own conclusion but make sure you watch the full video till the end okay because he said a lot on this video thank you very much take a watch whoever has custody of the kids at the moment the divorce is filed has custody of the kids until you go before a judge that's why I was going to get a restraining order on Cora to make sure that I had When did you have custody? Well, I, 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 that's why I took the kids to file the divorce and I have custody. In front of my kids. You're a fucking cunt in front of my kids because you regret these children. You didn't even look at you that can't one. Do I that. held that one for the first half hour of their you life. Can't you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't call me that in front of my kids. I will call you a fucking cunt, a whore, a slut in front of my kids until they're 18 years old. Because that's what you fucking are. My kids are being held withheld from me. Hello, everyone. Gonna wait a second longer. Yeah, yeah, I'm very serious. Okay, I'm just gonna start with um, why I divorced Cora. What made me post what I posted? What made me? emotionally lose control and there's only one thing that can make me do that and that's my kids um and nothing else uh, because she's trying to hurt me i love my kids they're my life and um men don't cry but i am just for my kids um so yeah, that's why I'm divorcing Cora, because she used the kids to hurt me, and I thought that was wrong, and I didn't want Athena to go through the same things that June's endured the last few years. So now, with this, I'm going to, I was going to split custody with Cora, and now I'm taking full custody. I'm going to fight her. your daughter if you're saying this type of stuff and she came across the room my mom's on the phone will testify this in court and ripped violently ripped June out of my hands and then and very close di dislocated June's shoulder the next that was when I posted online that I was divorcing my wife and I can't be treated this way anymore when I went live and said, say it again, it was that, that she regretted June being born. So fast forward, many of you reached out to me and I have talked to an attorney. I have talked to an attorney. I'm asked, and I can't see my kids right now and I'm asking for public support because I love my kids. So, many of you know, well, I divorced Cora because we got into an argument and 
Cora says things to hurt me sometimes. And she repeatedly told me that she regretted June ever being born. And I asked her to stop saying that. And June was in my arms crying. And she repeatedly said it over and over again. And I called my mother, who will testify this in court, that she would kept saying it over and over and again. And I said, you can't say this to June. She understands what you're saying. June's crying. I attempted to take June out of the room and I said, you can't be around. Two days ago, many of you reached out to me and asked me to go get the kids because Cora was because because she was being negligent when when they were, when she was inside the sink. Um, there's a garbage disposal in that sink within reach of June's foot, so she was putting her foot in the sink, and there's a garbage disposal, and she could have easily mangled her foot. And then Athena was head was drooping, and she was like like getting her airway choked off and I communicated this and she ignored me I called her she hung up on me so at legal counsel I went and got my kids for the last two days to protect her because many of you were reaching out to me and saying that they were gonna call child services which would not be the first time child services was called for negligence so I went and got my kids and explain to her why I was taking control of the kids. I was not withholding her, and I had no intention of keeping the kids from her. Today I had to work, because we haven't found a nanny yet, and I asked her to watch the kids for a little bit, and she agreed, and I said, I will be taking the kids back to my, my house. And when I got there, her friends handed me a pile of papers and the police were there well it showed up later she falsely filed so I can't see my kids for it, it looks like a month because Uh, everything I'm saying here is true. I'm saying no false lies. This is why I divorced Cora, because she hurt you. I didn't cheat on her. I do not have a mistress. No other reasons. I really wanted my family to work. You gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. Gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel. Yeah.